I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today what I'm going to be talking about is fraudulent schemes and artifices. Sometimes it's just called fraud schemes. In Arizona, a person can be charged with fraud schemes if they knowingly obtain a benefit through a scheme or artifice by means of falsities or material omissions. And this includes honest services fraud. What's that mean? It means you get paid and you've, you've basically stolen somebody's money. You've lied to them or you've left out a fact. Um, the punishment for a true fraud schemes can be probation with anywhere from zero days in jail up to a year in jail or prison of three and a half to 12.5 years. Now, if the fraud involves a benefit that was received of $100,000 or more, by statute, there can be no probation. That means it has to be three to 12.5 years in prison. Very serious charge. Now, the defenses. One, there was no fraud. No fraud at all. That means, no, this was legitimate and there was just a change in the market and somebody lost money. The other is that the alleged victim consented to the deal, which didn't work out. They knew the risk, consented, and there was no material omission. Also, there's mutual misunderstanding. Two people are talking about two different things and somebody feels like, well, I was defrauded. Uh, many times we see the defense where an employee was set up by an employer or their partner. What does this mean? They're told, hey, instead of me paying you this and I have to pay payroll taxes, use a company check. Write a check for your own car every month. We'll, we'll do it out of the company funds and that'll be part of your benefits package. And then when things go wrong, the employer will claim, I didn't give permission for those checks to be written, when in reality they did give permission. Or a partner will say, I never told my partner he could take money out, when in fact he did say, go ahead, take out some money, use it for that, that will be part of your compensation. Now many times we resolve these types of cases with a civil settlement. That means we get in there and negotiate an amount of money with a payment plan. We can then go to the detectives and say, wait a second, don't charge this person, we've resolved this, it's really a civil case. Or even after they're charged, we're saying to the uh, prosecution, this is not a true crime, this is a civil case. In fact, we have a civil release and the alleged victim has been compensated and they no longer wish to seek nor aid in prosecution. Still up to the state whether they dismiss, but it goes a long way. We've had lots of success on these types of cases. You can go to our website and check out our victories section. Now, if this situation applies to you, a family member, or a loved one, either give us a call or go to our website at dmcanner.com, contact us, and we'll set you for a free initial consultation, and we'll see what we can do for you.